y'all so it is monday december 31st it is new year's eve and i am about ready to go get my nails done it is 10 45 ish i think i don't know i just really want to go get my nails done i never do it i've only done it once before and i kind of just want to do it again <laughs> i've got some money saved up because i don't like I don't know, I just like to spend my own money on that. It's actually kind of chilly in Texas. Okay, let's see, it's 47 degrees, which is pretty cold for us. That's fine for like me and my family because we like lived in Indiana our whole life. So it's kind of not a big deal. That's actually kind of warm. It's <laughs> I just dropped my phone. 47 degrees though in December 31st is a pretty fucking good deal. But I'm gonna go to the nail salon. I'll just vlog when I get there or whatever. I have to use Waze for directions right now because this is a new place. It's like five minutes down the road. So I will see y'all later. Bye. Hey y'all. So it is Monday, December 31st. It is New Year's Eve. I vlogged a little bit earlier, but I don't think I said what day it was. I just showed y'all that I was going to the nail salon. Uh, I guess I can show you my nails. <laughs> I got these done. They're just uh, almond shaped acrylics and it's a purple color. You can't really tell. Let me try to get like a better lighting. Like they look like that. There you go. That's better. <laughs> And same with my toes, like you can't probably see them. <laughs> they look about like that. Same color as the nails. But I got a classic pedicure today. I got a classic manicure. And then I got the acrylics. And I went a little longer than I did the first time. And I also did a different shape. So I did like alm almond shaped. And I really love them. They're very pretty and I'm obsessed. So, and I guess to like maintain this, you don't have to get a new set of acrylics, but every three to six months, but you need to do like fill-ins apparently every two weeks. I'm gonna have like appointments every two weeks where I go in and it's honestly like $20 to do that. And I'll just get fill-ins and paint them a new color maybe. But the good news about acrylics is that I can just take this nail polish off if I get tired of the color and just paint them a different one. So that's always nice. I will probably only get like what I got today, like a manicure and a pedicure, only when I go get the whole new set done. Because, you know, I don't want to spend like a ton of money on all of this, but it is fun to do and I feel like it's kind of just like pampering myself and it's something that I don't do often. I just thought it would be fun. And I did this because I did good in school this semester. I got a 4.0 and I'm just proud of myself. So I was like, you get a reward. I just used some Christmas and some other money that I got around Christmas and just pay for it like that. I enjoy doing it. And tomorrow I'm getting my eyebrows waxed and my lip waxed because <laughs> girly things. And I'm gonna do that. And then I also curled my hair today. Trying to start off the new year out right, feeling good about myself and feeling beautiful. <laughs> that is what's going on. As for resolutions, I don't really know if I have any except kind of bookish re resolutions and school related stuff so I might make a video on that oh and a bunch of resolutions for my YouTube channel that's been doing really good lately I've actually been getting more subscribers and my worst video of 2018 video is doing pretty good or worst books of 2018 video is doing good I think I said worst video <laughs> it's doing pretty good I'm really happy with that I'm glad people are lacking it and yeah I really enjoy doing that whole series where I talk about my best, worst, most disappointing, and most surprising reads of 2018, so it's been fun. And I'm excited to read my very first book of 2019. And I did get to 100 books since I've, I haven't vlogged in a long time, <laughs> but since then, we went on a family vacation. I can talk more about that another time. We just kind of traveled all around Texas, and I just didn't vlog it because I just wanted a break, honestly. I've also read a book. I've read Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell. This was so cute. I gave it a four out of five stars. I loved it. I'll get more into it when I talk about, I'll talk about it more when I do my December wrap up that I will be filming tomorrow. And the reason I say tomorrow is because I very, uh, I might film, or oh my god, I might finish another book before 2018 is over and that is City of Lost Souls by Cassandra Clare. I've got like a hundred pages left in this, so I think, I think I can do it. But yeah, I've got like a hundred pages left and 
I really would love to finish this tonight. So I'm going to sit down now and just really start to read. I'm actually going to watch a couple YouTube videos first and then I'm going to read. And I'm hoping that I can get it all done and say that I finished another book. If not, it's fine. I'm not going to worry about it. And then I'm going to read my very first book of 2018 or 2019. Oh my god, it's already happening. I'm already like getting the year wrong. <laughs> I hope I start off with a bang. I'm going to try to pick a book that I think I'm going to love, almost guaranteed basically. So yeah, I think I'm going to read a thriller. I think the first book that I'm going to read in 2018, I think it's going to be The Seven and a Half Husbands of Evelyn Hardcastle. Did I say husbands? The Seven and a Half Deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle. This is a thriller and I've just heard wonderful things about it and I feel like I love it so I'm gonna say that this is gonna be my first read of 2019. That's what I plan on doing. Oh and or you know what? This one might be my first read. Clockwork Princess by Cassandra Clare because I'm finishing City of Lost Souls tonight whether it be before midnight or after, I'm finishing it and then I will be able to start this. So I'm very excited about this. This is the last book in the Infernal Devices trilogy and I'm so excited to finish it. I love this trilogy so much and I'm so excited to get back into this world. I've been waiting desperately. City of Lost Souls is starting to finally get good. I feel like it's been kind of boring throughout the whole thing so I am ready for it to pick up. It's starting to get more action-packed so I feel like I'll fly through the last hundred pages. I don't know if there's anything else I need to update on. I am going to be filming a lot of videos tomorrow. I'm filming my December wrap up. I think I'm going to also film a January TBR. I want to try to see if I can follow a TBR this year. I don't know how well that's going to happen. I want to do like all these little categories where I draw. So I want to do TBR jar where I basically have all of these, just all the books on my shelf. Basically, I'm going to redo it though and draw three books out of that jar and then I'm going to have a Stephen King jar. Then I'm going to have a big books jar where I have all the books in here that are 500 pages up. And I'm trying to see if there's any other category I want to do. I think I might do a classics one and then that's it. And I'm just going to draw out of those for my TBR. My mom's calling us for dinner so I will... I'm going to have to get off here. But <laughs> I will just update y'all more later. I'll let you know when I finish City of Lost Souls. And yeah, I will see y'all later. Bye. Y'all, so I have officially finished my last book of 2018, The City of Lost Souls. I am done with this big ass book that I have been working on for months now. I finally completed it. It was a really good ending. I did love the ending. It was fantastic, but I ended up giving it a three and a half out of five stars just because the first part of it was just boring to me. I thought it was way too long and I just felt like I really, really struggled to finish this book. And yeah, so I just ended up giving it a three and a half out of five stars. It was enjoyable. It was okay. Was not my favorite. And I'm honestly dreading reading the last book in the series, but I am excited because it ended on a very big cliffhanger so I am very 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 anxious to find out what happens. I am so happy to be done with that book. I'm worried I'm gonna have a book hangover though because hopefully not because it's not like I read the whole book in one sitting like I literally just read the last hundred pages to not so hopefully that helps but the last book in the series is gonna be City of Heavenly Fire and this is a big book. Oh my god y'all. It is, there is 725 pages in this book. 725 pages. Jesus. This is gonna be a beast. Starting this is gonna be fun. I probably will start it at the beginning of the year and probably not finish it till December. I'm just kidding. I really hope that doesn't happen. <laughs> the next book that I will be starting in the Shadowhunter Chronicles is Clockwork Princess. I don't know if I'm gonna start this tonight. I think the next book I'm going to start is The Seven and a Half Has uh, oh my god, The Seven and a Half Deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle. I don't know if I'm going to start this one next, but this is what I'm thinking I want to start next. But I have such bad indecisive reading habits, I never know. I might read a really light and fluffy book to not because that was kind of a heavy one. We shall see. But these next two one books are definitely on my TBR for January. That is the update for now. It's going to be 2019 very soon and like less than two hours so yay i'm really excited i will keep y'all updated and i will see you when the new year has came out. so bye i am such an old bitch like i am literally spent to not celebrating by reading a book i finished it by the way and uh i 
also am going to go to sleep like pretty much after the ball drops because I am exhausted so and my dog is being a pain in the ass what happy new year <laughs> So it's Mama's birthday tomorrow, and for the first time she told me she has streamers and balloons. We have 70 balloons in here, all different colors, because she's a colorful, happy person. And we have happy birthday sun, and we have all these pretty colorful streamers. And then over here in the kitchen, we have a happy birthday sun right here for her. And it's just so fun and pretty in here. She does this for us on our birthday. She's done it since we were babies and she's never had this done for her. And I was determined to do it this year. Boo Boo has to potty. <laughs> and yeah, so I'm just so happy to do this for her. She deserves it. We have presents for her and we're gonna have cake tomorrow that I ordered. It's gonna be so fun. We're making this super, super special for her cause she always, always gives and is so selfless with us and she deserves the best. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. you. Happy <laughs> birthday <laughs> to you. Happy birthday <laughs> dear mama. mama. <laughs> Happy birthday. <laughs> Day to you. you. I don't sing very well. You know this. Make a wish. You have to be married. Shut up. Make a wish. Mm. What Yay. was it? Shut up. Tell you it won't come through. Oh, want me to be nicer to you? <laughs> hey guys. So it's been a hot minute since I vlogged. I'm really red right now. I'm a little sick today. I just ordered food though. Turkey sandwich and fries from Arby's. I used to hate Arby's, but I found this uh, turkey sandwich. It's the only thing I like there besides their curly fries, so. And I'm looking rough today, I mean, obviously. Caught in the favor, because that's what the app's called. And it's not here. It's been a really long time. Haven't vlogged though, a lot to be honest, because I'm just, oh my god, I thought I saw a snake. <laughs> it's a leaf. Um, I'm just really tired and not feeling good, and uh, my potassium is bottomed out, so my legs are cramping really, oh my god, I think he's here. I'm trying to move from the door, so he, holy shit. <laughs> trying to move from the door so he like doesn't see me just staring at my door, like stalking him. Okay, hold on, he's here, hold on, hold on. Not the wrong sandwich so um i'm ordering again on favor i got the wrong turkey sandwich apparently it's a grand turkey club and i thought it was the turkey uh bacon wrap but there's ranch on this there's no fucking way of eating that so but i got my curly fries so i'll eat that until my favorite sandwich from there comes because i have actually had that sandwich before there and it was not good <laughs> sorry not not happening not happening sis Just kidding i'm not saying that i'm 20 years old i'm 21 years old fries are heating up in here because they were cold as fucking balls gonna get a dr pepper because you know new year new me really worried we didn't have dr pepper we have dr pepper i used to open uh cokes with my teeth i'm not doing that now no <laughs> my parents paid away too much money for these teeth except these are crowded these two right here Got crowded again. Whoops. It's really hard to open Coke cans now with these. These are actually inconvenient. Timer's going off. Okay. I'm really just about did, so I'm really glad you said that. Wow, my hair is a hot mess. It's oily and gross. I haven't washed it in like three days. Actually, probably longer. You're touching it with your hands? Oh. <laughs> False alarm, y'all. Wow, that's cute. What's happening? Thank <laughs> you. It's very simple. It just won't come out. If the fries would have been warm when it got here, this wouldn't be a problem. Just kidding. There's bad traffic. Oh, no. Okay. Um, This thing is canceled if it can't get out. They're going to be cold again by the time you get them out. And then we're going to have to do this all over again. Should not be this hard to get this out of here. What is this? Can we get it a bad review on Yelp or something? That didn't never have this trouble last time. Come out, 
you stupid bitch! <laughs> How many people does it take to get <laughs> french fries out of the thing? Do you think we can just like cut it open and then eat the fries out of that like that? I'm literally never hungry. God is really trying to make me not Jeez. eat. Thank God. I finally got my fries. Keep y'all updated on when my sandwich comes. Right now I'm gonna eat these fries. Cause they're fucking good. Uh -huh, bye. Okay, reordered my sandwich. It should be here soon. Really need to talk to you about what I'm reading. I'm reading Shadow and Bone by Lee Bardugo. Not been reading the past two days because I felt really bad. I mean, I have felt like shit, like literal shit. I have fever now and fever, legs are hurting from low potassium, stomach's hurting because stomach is always hurting. You know what's really sad? I don't remember what it's like to not have a stomach ache. But I've always had like, because I was premature and I guess my digestive tract did not form correctly, so. It's always just been like, you're gonna be fucked for life with this. <laughs> I'm waiting though. I ordered my sandwich so long ago and then I got the wrong sandwich and then I ordered another sandwich so long ago and now it's not here and I'm like really getting close to my face. Really trying to show you guys how like swollen and fucking ugly I am right now. Like look at these eyebrows. Anxiety is awful. This is what anxiety does to you guys. This is what anxiety does to you. Not you guys, this is what anti, whatever. You know what, whatever. And I really wanna bite my nails, but there are fake ones on right now and I can't. Well, I could, but I paid a lot of money for these, so I don't want to. <laughs> I'll let y'all know when it gets here. It should be here in like five more minutes. I'm like sweating right now. I think my fever's breaking, thank God. I've been waiting for that for a long time, but I'm sweating, so. I don't know if y'all knew that, or you probably have. I'm sure everyone's had a fever before. And if you haven't, God bless you, seriously. You sweat really bad when you you're, you break a fever. Like, really bad. I, I, had, I broke a fever last night, and I literally had to change my nightgown. I was, like, no. soaked. So sorry you guys are having to, like, read a fucking book while I'm editing this. Um, I keep adding, like, commentary or, like, captions that's so annoying and i'm sorry but you know i don't know i'm just that's my mood right now so sorry i'm gonna get off email i'll see you guys later bye here's my sandwich here's the gross one with ranch on it this one is the grand turkey club it's just got turkey bacon some sort of really good cheese and tomato and lettuce and mayo and it's so yummy and i'm so happy right now and they gave me extra fries and a Dr. Pepper, so that's fun. I'm gonna drink this now and eat this. Not eat that, because I'm so fucking sick of the fries. But I want this, so. Bye! Hey y'all, so it is a little while later. I've eaten, and I am now about ready to sit and read, I think. I haven't read in a couple days, but I'm feeling like reading now. I've got Shadow and Bone with me. I am on page, I'm, no one passed 100 pages. It's a really fast read, honestly. I'm on page 125, so. I'm getting through it quickly, and I would have had it finished probably in a few hours if I wouldn't have stopped, but it literally took me an hour and a half to get through to 125 pages. It's a really fast read. It's just a quick paced one, which I love fantasies like that, because fantasies generally take me a long time to read, but just because I'm trying to get to know the world, but Lee Bardugo does a really good job at writing so far from the... <laughs> Only the first hundred pages of this book, I can tell that she writes really fast-paced fantasies, which I don't see often. So, yeah, it's good. It's really good. I'm liking it. I like the characters. The main character, Alana, or Alana, I don't know how you say her name, Alana, whatever. She annoys me sometimes. I think she can be a bit mean, especially to the Darkling, which I, maybe some people don't like the Darkling. I think he's fine so far. I mean, yeah. He kind of cut somebody in half earlier, but you know, semantics. No, I'm just kidding. This guy was trying to kill her, so you know, whatever. But I like him. Mal, not loving him. I think he's really, really conceited and into himself. Kind of reminds me of like the crush I had in middle school. Just really conceited, cocky, kind of a bastard, you know, <laughs> like annoying. It's good so far. I need to film my... Hold on, you guys. I bought her this for her birthday, and um, she's clearly like and making herself like an igloo to hide in. <laughs> <laughs> like, and she's so into her show that she's like not even paying attention to me. <laughs> oh my god, I'm sorry. I had to film that. That was too funny. So 
what I was saying. Oh yeah. Uh, I need to film my January, or my January wrap-up, my December wrap-up. Uh, I filmed my October and November wrap-up, which I never edited and uploaded, so that's my bad. So I think I'm just going to do, like, an end-of-the-year wrap-up. What he's doing? I don't know what he's, is he making money? I don't know what he's doing. Just ignore her. I... Are you vlogging? Yes. I can't hear you. I got my hearing aids in TV. Oh, I... I I got something to show you later. I gotta refilm all of that basically. I'm gonna refilm it and just do an end of the year wrap up. I read like 27 books in the last three months of 2018, so might be a long one. That's the reading that I'm gonna do. I'm about ready to end this vlog because it's really long. But one more thing I wanted to say before I uh, ended the vlog. You know what? I'll talk about it in the next one because then it'll be at the beginning of the vlog and I don't think a lot, of, like I don't know how many people actually watch like the whole thing like start to finish. Because <laughs> I know there's some people's vlogs that I don't watch start to finish. I watch some people's, but not all of them. So, yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll talk about it in the beginning of the next one. So, in the next one, you can see how I'm liking this book. And probably you will see me start uh, Siege and S Storm. Hopefully, the next vlog is not, like, spread out for, like, over a week. <laughs> I will just update y'all later. Bye. Here's what really makes me happy about this guy. You see him. Um... Says he stopped recording. I'm sorry, I'm showing Snapchat Mama's angry face when you're talking to her through her show. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead.